Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to demonstrate to you how you can utilize the custom list and the hyperlink column to organize links to sites, to various project sites, team sites that you have within your organization. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, look, um, as part of your company internet, you might have lots and lots of sites, right? Uh, department sites, uh, different team sites, etc. Something similar to what I show you right here on the screen. And of course, this navigation, this hub navigation, global navigation guides me uh, to the other uh, sites, other departments and teams I have within my organization. However, let's say you're doing lots of projects, right? It could be um, maybe you're, you know, doing lots of uh, projects, you know, so uh, a use case could be project management. Maybe you're a law firm and you have lots of, lots of, uh, you know, cases, uh, different matters uh, you want to organize. Um, we're talking about, you know, large number of uh, sites, right? Maybe hundreds, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of sites. It's obviously not practical, wouldn't be practical to add them through the global navigation, right? Otherwise, it's going to be one very busy menu plus, you know, all these different projects and matters and, you know, other types of sites uh, you might have, right? Some of them might be uh, kind of old sites that you just need to access once in a while. So what is the alternative? What, what I usually do for my clients, let me show you. Um, here is an example. What I usually do is build a custom list that looks similar to what you see on the screen. And essentially, it's a list of links, all right? It's a list of links. Um, behind the scenes, it's a custom list. And then I created a column, a, a hyperlink column, uh, that essentially links to uh, a project site or, you know, uh, you know, matter case site, whatever you have. And essentially, it's a list of links. And the idea behind this list is that, so they organize, you know, in this table format, if you will. But the big idea here is that you can filter this list by any metadata. You see from here, if you have all these different sites, I mean, all these different links, they are just they just appeared, you know, just like you know they do on the navigation, right? But with this option, you can do this. You can filter it and say, you know what, I only want to see only active projects. All right, I, I want to see projects managed by Greg. All right. Uh, and you can obviously even group things, you know, by different properties you have. So what I would like to do now is walk you through on how to build this list, specifically this particular column where we essentially we're going to be linking to a different uh, project site. So what you need to do is, um, you know, pick a site where you want to, um, you know, you you want to build that list on. Uh, in my case, let's just build it over here on the main uh, on the main, um, you know, site. And uh, let's build a list. So gear icon, site contents. And here is my, by the way, existing list. We're going to build a new list. So new list, all right? And it's going to be a new list. Let's give it a name, project list, all right? You give it a name, whatever you want. Here we go. And essentially, by default, it only has one column. So let's build a few columns. So we're actually going to utilize this column right here for the project name. We'll uh, do it later. Uh, let's build a few other columns first. Maybe I want to build a column, you know, for the project manager, right? I need to track who is the project manager for that particular project. So uh, I am going to build that column. Here we go. That's, of course, the person or group type. Here we go. All right. Let's build another column. It could be anything, right? Uh, but I'm just, you know, creating kind of the most obvious ones. So maybe right status, maybe it's an active project, inactive. All right, so here we go, uh, a few options here. And let's build one more. It could be maybe you want to add a currency field, maybe a budget, maybe you want to capture, you know, the due date for the project, uh, whatever you decide. All right, let's just do, uh, you know, due date. All right, for the project, here we go. Uh, again, you know, sky's the limit. You, you decide what you want in terms of the columns. Uh, one other column I want to add, you know, and the most important one here is the hyperlink column. Essentially, it's a column that will allow you to paste the URL of the project site, uh, of, of the site you want to link to. So here we go. And you can call it, uh, you know, whatever you want. Again, link to site, it's a hyperlink column. Perfect, all right. I think we are all set here. Uh, one other thing I would like to do here is we need to rename this title column. 
And in order to, to make it happen, we need to go behind the scenes, gear icon, list setting, and click the title column. We're going to use this for the project name column, all right? We are going to use it for the project name column uh, because title is just a little bit general, uh, generic. All right, here we go. Perfect. So here we go. This is all the columns. One last thing we need to do. Remember how I showed you previously where you could filter things? Uh, we need to pin the, um, you know, those columns to the filters pane if you want to be able to filter by all these parameters. So let's do that. Let drop down column settings, pin to filters pane. Again, let's just, you know, pin all of them quickly. Here we go. Yeah, we don't need to pin the hyperlink column. All right, well said. We're done. Pretty much now we just need to populate the list. And, you know, this is where essentially you will populate the list. So let's say you have a project site, right? You want to capture the link. Let, let's just pretend. I mean, this is not the actual project site, but I just need a URL of some sort. Here we go. I just copied it. Let's create a, a first entry. So that will be project A. And, um, you know, this is the... Um, you know, this is where, let's say, I'm managing the project. This is the dropdown we created. So let's say it's an active project. Here we go. Uh, due date. Perfect. And this is where we paste the URL. Well, this is where we paste the URL to the site. Or let's just pretend this is what it is. And we need to provide its description. So it's nice uh, to the user. Here we go. Here is my first entry. Uh, let's create one more just so that we have something to play with. Um, this one will be project P. And let's make Mary here the uh, project manager for this one. Uh, this one, let's say, will be closed. And essentially, let's provide a different date. All right, here we go. And again, this will be another URL to the site. I'm just pasting the same one. Here we go. All right, perfect. And essentially, you, you get the idea. You just populate the rest of the links, uh, the rest of the your projects here. And essentially, that's pretty much it. All right, now you know you uh, you now you you make your users go to this particular list. So maybe you link this uh, particular list from somewhere, right? Uh, that's what I did over here with a label here. And essentially, when users you know navigate to this list, they will see the list, and they can easily filter it. And they can say, you know, I just need to see active projects. So maybe projects with a particular due date, or uh, again. You, 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 um, uh, maybe who is the particular project manager, etc. Um, you can also you can also uh, create views, right? You can also create views for um, a particular um, you know particular setting. Maybe you want to you know let you, uh, group it by you know status or or project manager or whatever you want to group it by. And if you want to make it available for everyone else, you just save it as a view. So let's do that uh, by status. Here we go. And now you will essentially have various views uh, for um, you know uh, for your end users, all right? Or maybe you create a view where you filter out the closed ones, right? Maybe you just want to filter for active ones, and again you can save it as a view. And again, if uh, I, I can, you know I navigate to this particular list, I'm not overwhelmed with hundreds and hundreds of entries. I just get to see uh, the um, you know the active projects, all right? The active sites. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a nice little trick to utilize, uh, especially if you have lots and lots of sites, because again, it's not really practical to add them all here from the drop down navigation. It gets a little bit crowded. But with this option, it's uh, it's nice and user friendly. And you know, users are essentially in control and they can filter it any way you want. And again, you can create uh, you know, additional views for them as well. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover in this particular episode. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as YouTube, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.